<laughs> Look at my plant, it's new. We just take a moment to appreciate this little cutie back here. Welcome to the family, new sweet baby. As with most things that I have, I like to name them, and Plant BB back here is no exception. So if you have any names for this marvelous fiddle leaf fig tree, please leave your name suggestions down below in the comments. Moving on from my plant excitement, it is officially spring, and I did some shopping recently, so I'm gonna be showing you what I got, because it's actually been a while since I've done a haul. And what better way to get back into it than by doing a spring haul. I'm really pumped because I got some stuff from ColourPop. I placed an order and the stuff finally came in. Look how pretty the box is. I really love it. So I mostly got lip products because I am, well, just a sucker for any and all lip products. Why does this happen? It's like there's always one makeup item that you just can't get enough of and lip products are that thing for me. Lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm, I'm like all over it. ColourPop's lip products are amazing. They stay in place. I've used some other colors before and I've always just been so impressed by their lasting power. I really wanted to refresh my lip drawer and get in some colors that I'm really excited about for spring. So, um, I kind of just got a lot of nudes, though. You know I love me a good nude. I mean, can you tell? Everything that I have on is within the nude neutral family. My eyeshadow, my lip color, my sweater, my nails. I swear I did not do this on purpose. The first new member of the nudes family is this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. And I put this on my lips today because I've never tried their satin lip before and I wanted to see what it felt like and what it looked like. I've tried other things with a satin finish before and this definitely leans more on the matte side, which I really like. Lumiere 2. I have not tried the original, but this is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it's one of the ultra matte lip colors. Here are the two colors next to each other. This one is Lumiere 2, and then this one is Echo Park. Just so you know, all of the other lip colors that I'm showing are all ultra matte lips. So this next one is Trap, which is kind of like a gray nude, which I thought was really interesting. I'm not sure how this is gonna look on me at all, but I just wanted to try it. So there's Trap. And then the last one, which looks like it's probably going to be the lightest, is Midi. And yes, it does indeed look like it is in fact the lightest. So that is Midi all the way here at the end. Here are all the colors up close. On the far left is Lumiere 2, and then Echo Park, Trap, and Midi. I really have to stay on top of cleaning the swatches off of my hands, because otherwise it's just gonna get all over my sweater. I don't know if you can see this, but I actually hit myself with the lighter that I used to light the candle back there, and it left a smudge on my sweater. So now I'm just ultra paranoid that I'm just gonna get everything all over me. I did get a couple brights, because you know I love me a good bright lip color. I have a lot of of like red orange lipsticks and even orange lipsticks but I don't have a lip pencil to go under them and I really wanted something to kind of help make them last longer so I got this um, ColourPop lippy pencil in Chi Chi which I think will be the perfect addition to my red orange collection and what is spring without a hot pink lip and I just wanted something that was super bold really electric and that's why I think highball is perfect. Oh my gosh, yes! This is going to be incredible. Look at that, yeah, girl. I also got some blushes because last year, I kind of just used the same blush palette all year. I really wanted to get myself outside of the box and into some new blushes. This first one here is Birthday Suit and it is a satin finish just like a nice pinky rosy blush. Next up is Aphrodisiac, and this is a matte blush. This one's definitely darker. It's kind of a brown. It's darker than I thought it was gonna be. This is definitely more subtle and more brown, but I really like it. I don't have anything like this at all, which is why I got it, and I wanted to try a blush that wasn't like super pink or super peachy. I wanted to skew towards like 
the nudes a little bit more and just experiment and see how I like it. Another matte one that I have is Between the Sheets. So this is Between the Sheets right here. Last but not least, another matte blush. This one is Get Laid and I'm very excited because I love like orangey blushes. They tend to work really well on my skin tone and I thought that this would be a gorgeous color for spring. So that is Get Laid right there. So from right to left, birthday suit, aphrodisiac, between the sheets, and Get Laid. And then the last thing that I got, which I didn't purchase, but I think ColourPop sent as a gift for being a little bit late with delivery. I got this eyeshadow. It's called Onai, and it's a satin eyeshadow. It looks like a really versatile, all over the lid, blending highlight color. So that's it for makeup, and now it's time for things that smell great. A new body cream. This is the Milk and Honey Shea Butter Hand and Body Cream, and I've actually been using the Sea Salt and Lavender one, and I'm almost out of it. I think I have one more application left. I actually have the Milk and Honey Soap, which I've been using in the shower, and I love that scent, especially at nighttime. And since I like using these body creams at night, I decided to go for the Milk and Honey body cream just to see how I like it. So maybe I can use the soap and then layer it with the body cream. They're really rich, but they feel light and luxurious. And I love the Milk and Honey scent because it smells fresh, but it has that warmth and that depth that I really, really love in fragrances. Speaking of sea salt lavender, because I love the scent so much, I also have the soap, BT Dubs. Um, I decided that I should probably get the candle because I would love for my space to smell that way too. This is just like the freshest smelling thing to me. It smells like fresh laundry with lavender, like what I would want the crispest, most beautiful day to smell like. You know I really love a scent when I want to wear it and then also smell it in my space. I've done the same thing with Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. This is Sydney Hall Co. And this is a soy wax, bluegrass, and juniper candle. And it says that it'll burn for 50 hours. And oh boy, this smells very, very nice. I really wasn't sure what I was getting into because I had never smelled this candle before. I had never seen these candles before. So I was just kind of taking a risk. This is something that I'm very, very excited about and I am going to be using this as soon as possible to see how it works. It is the Anons, I think that's how you say this brand name, Calming Aloe Shaving Gel. I got this from Formulary 55, but this is just another brand that they sell. I believe this is marketed towards people who like shave their face, but I really wanted to try this on the other parts of my body and just see how it goes because I wanted something that was calming and smoothing and that smelled good and wasn't my hair conditioner. I just wanted to try something different because I normally use hair conditioner as like my shaving lubricant, I guess you would call it. And I figured, you know, if this is supposed to be used on your face and people that shave their face normally want their face to be smooth, wouldn't this make the rest of my body feel soft and smooth, right, right? Mm. I really like this. It smells herbally, so I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. It smells like, you know, a very natural herbal Product. I got a couple clothing items and I kind of just did a scan of my closet and I looked at everything and I was like Hmm, what do I feel like I'm missing for this spring? And the thing that I really wanted was a pair of overall shorts. I went to a store called American Vintage where you can find really great deals on clothing. I'm guessing this pair of overall shorts is probably from the 80s or the 90s and I love them. First, they're really soft. I didn't want a denim that felt like really starchy and stiff. I wanted something that would be super, super comfortable. And I also love that the fit is loose on me. I think this is the thing that I am most excited about in my haul. I'm so excited about it. I got all of the wrinkles out of it last night and I put it on a hanger. This is a shirt that I got off of Etsy. I was just, you know, down the Etsy rabbit hole one night and I found this shirt and I 
loved it. It says binaries are for computers because you know what? They're not for people. And I thought it was something that just brings awareness to gender equality because I think a lot of times when we think of gender equality, we either think of, you know, cis women or we think of the binary where it's like men and women and we don't consider the people in between who may not identify with either end of the binary spectrum. And the more that I'm learning about gender, I kind of realize that gender expression especially is really more than a spectrum. It's kind of like this explosion of like a rainbow and there are so many different possibilities and just saying spectrum almost seems kind of limited by the way the etsy shop's name is called what aesthetic and the shop owner actually sent me a really really sweet message which i wasn't expecting because this was just like a late night etsy purchase so while this has a personal meaning for me it made it even more meaningful just knowing how much the shop owner cares about what they're putting out into the world oh i can't get this last thing <laughs> the very last thing i got is a pair of shoes i didn't even know ellen degeneres had a line of shoes at nordstrom but apparently she does so i wanted a pair of like brown leather sandals that don't have a heel on them because Every pair that I have has a slight heel on it or just like a real significant heel. And I wanted something totally flat, almost like a flip flop. I thought these were so cute. They're exactly what I wanted because I actually saw Vince had a pair of like wedge sandals that had this crisscross leather but I didn't like that they were a heel. I wanted something that was flat, like the flat version of that. And they were also a little bit lighter in color. And that's exactly what these are. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I found exactly what I had been envisioning in my head. Another reason why I got these sandals was because when I tried them on, they were so comfortable. I was really impressed with how soft the leather is it's very flexible it's not stiff at all i feel like it's not going to give me any blisters or cuts like a lot of sandals and shoes tend to do and then on the bottom what's really cute is that they say love so if you like walk in sand or dirt you'll leave an imprint of love behind so that is it for my haul here today but guess what i actually have a little extension of this haul over on my vessel channel and it's totally exclusive to vessel so i have a little bit more stuff from ColourPop, and if you would like to see what else i got you can go over to my vessel channel and watch that video but it's totally up to you it's just you know if you want to see the little extra tidbits that i have i hope you all are having a wonderful day sending lots of love your way and i'll see you next time Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos coming your way. And if you would like to watch my last video, you can just click over there and it'll take you through the magical YouTube vortex that we all know and love. Also, please do not forget that Fiddle Leaf Fig BB needs a name. So please leave the names down below in the comments. We can't forget about the important message here. The tree needs a name. <laughs> Bye everyone.